All right, I'm Jojo Fusion, and this is the best G.I. Joe game I've ever played. Except it's not G.I. Joe, it's Agents of Mayhem. And this was released by Volition in 2017. It's kind of a spin-off on an alternate timeline of the Saints of Saints Row. I saw this game when it came out. It looked like it was a multiplayer game. It is not. And I didn't think it would be something that would appeal to me. However, I've started playing it recently, and I really like it. We're just let's let's get right into it. So this is gonna have like a Saturday morning cartoon kind of vibe. Uh, an adult-oriented Saturday morning cartoon. They're swearing and things like that. So you're gonna see these cutscenes. They're cartoony. It's gonna give you a piece of the story, then it's gonna cut into gameplay. Now, who you're seeing on the screen right now, those are three characters. You've got Hollywood, Bartak, and, um... Ah, uh, I can't remember the other one, the, the woman's name. Oh, Fortune. And... Anytime you bring in a new agent, and I believe there's 14 or 15 of them, there's gonna be an intro, introduction to that agent, and typically they're gonna have their own mission. The first three... You get this cutscene, which kind of covers all three of them. And it's the tutorial to the game. But as we unlock future agents, they'll have their own missions in which that agent kind of solos. And also throughout this, those missions are going to take... Uh, when they take place, they're going to seem like episodes of a cartoon series. It's really cool. And... I've played several hours of this and the gameplay is really fun. So I figured I'd jump on and actually record this because this game seemed to have gotten a lot of hate initially, or not hate, but people said it wasn't that great. I'm having a hell of a lot of fun with this game. So here we go. This is the opening. It's going to explain who our three characters are. Persephone is the uh, the head of the agency called Mayhem. That's what we're a member of Mayhem. I know who I asked for Friday. Of course. I'll let the cutscene happen. You know, there is one small matter I'd like to quick. It's personal, and you know what? Not important. Never mind. I'm not important. So the story is generic-ish, but it's entertaining. It's entertaining. I found it entertaining enough. It gets the game from A to B. Like I said, think Saturday morning cartoon. And it is the brainchild of this man, Dr. Babylon, the head of Legion's That doesn't sound 80s. I don't know what does. Dr. Babylon. We have tracked both to a facility beneath Seoul, South Korea. Your objective is twofold, agents. One, steal the warhead. Two, look Two, good doing it. Kill Dr. Babylon. And uh, three, kill you Babylon. Two go in separately. Hollywood, draw all of the base's attention to you. Hard tack, while they're distracted, take out the facility's security system. And Fortune, you'll steal their warhead. Precisely. No questions. So, the reason I say this is like uh, G.I. Joe is each agent is very unique. They have different play styles. They have different person, very different personalities. And so far, there has not been an agent I have not enjoyed playing. Initially, I thought three these three guys were kind of boring, but as I got a little further into the game, I liked playing as all of them. Good luck, agents. Be safe. So, like I said, we're going to take a look at the first hour of this game, and maybe it uh, it's something you want to play, it's something you didn't know about, and I brought it to light, and now you have a game you can go and enjoy. Uh, I've seen reviews for this, and a lot of the reviews say, oh, the story wasn't great, and they knocked it, and they said, oh, but I had a lot of fun playing it, or I had fun playing it. What the hell does that mean? That's why I play games. All right, so I have to open the panel. We're just going to shoot it. Found a thing, shot it, I'm in. 
If, if you couldn't tell, this is comedic. Um, this is very... Almost like it should be a multiplayer game, but it's not. Okay, and they drop things, money, uh, resources that you're going to use to build things. Here they're telling me about his special ability. When I hit the Q button, he's going to do a thing called um, Attention Seeker. And it's just a quick move that does a little more damage than your, your normal moves. They also have a Mayhem ability, and that Mayhem ability That's a wrap. does even more damage, and in some cases is even more of a spectacle. So here, I'm going to hit his Q. And it killed all of them. All right, now it's telling me about his mayhem ability. Uh, so Hollywood's mayhem ability, I'm just going to call it Michael Bay. Everything, there's just explosions, and he has an unlimited magazine. So here, here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Cue the action music. And now I can just take him down. I don't have to worry about, you know, running out of bullets in the magazine. Well... Like he did just there. I thought my magazine was supposed to be unlimited, but you see all the explosions oh, happening? Dead. You're quoting one of your movies, aren't you? First I am. off, Fortune, it was a film, not a movie. But you recognized it, huh? Let's focus on the job. Now, typically, we're going to be playing as a team of three who we can switch between uh, on the fly. This introductory mission, which each segment is the introduction to each of these agents. Uh, so I can only be Hollywood right now. All right, so no other pickups. Let's go ahead and head through the door. And I found the humor to be funny. Oh, that's not the right button. I need to sprint. I saw some reviewers saying the humor was not funny and corny, Holy but I'm shit. old, so... I, I found D-Bab's chemistry set. Hold on, I'll shut it down real quick. Um, uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Ah. What happened? Nothing. I I made the glowing ball it's angle. fine. Glowing ball? As in a giant evil ball of death? Sure. That's a dominator, Hollywood. d uh -oh. Dominator, death. That's a lot of bad-sounding D words. Oh, it is. That's the triple D right there. Okay, we're going to get the hell out of here. Yep, we're just going to go. We're going to... And you, you have a multiple jump. You, you can jump up to three times. Right now, I'm just trying to Hold get on, out of here. Console. Oh yeah, this is gonna end well. Well, shit, that didn't work. Think Hollywood. Okay. Yeah, let's shoot this. Damn it! What happened? I poked the bear. I poked the bear. You did what? I kind of shot the evil ball. That thing is a big fucking ball of pure dark matter energy, <laughs> man. Shoot! Don't shoot! Look, I don't have time for something. What is going on? Like, this game is very action-packed. The gameplay is fun. Enough. Just get to the rendezvous point. And like I said, the story's enough. All right, I'm at the rendezvous. Yeah, you are. Now it's gonna switch us up. Now we're gonna go over to I think hard tack. And he wields a shotgun. Yes, you do. You all as psyched as I am. Ready and waiting, Tech. And he has Just a harpoon ability. No problem. So, he's a ta he's a tank character. He can he can take some damage. So right now I've got to blow some crap up. Oh, that's not good. You should be clear, Fortune. I'm on way in now. Thanks, Tech. Okay. So that cleared the way for fortune, and I'm going to... Oh. It's telling me about my special ability, which is the harpoon, and I'll show you what that does in a second. Harpoon. It teleports them near me, and I can shoot them in the face, and they die. It's a hell of an ability. Now they're telling me about his mayhem. I can basically drop bombs, and then hit the button again to make stuff explode so here one two three and then oh i have to activate it first one two three and then and and they're all dead okay picking up money 
is pissed off. That guy's always pissed off. Anyone know why Persephone has such a hate on for this guy? Other than his being one of the bad guys? <laughs> hey, I'm going all oh, this way. Let's not forget that our boss used to be one of the bad guys too. Yes, yeah, she did. She was Brimstone. All right. So, oh, here we are. This is the rendezvous point. I'm with now Where it's going to switch us over to Fortune, and it's going to be the intro to her character. And she's more a more agile uh, damage dealer. Nice job on those turrets, Dak. Hey, yeah. So, we got a situation in the Southwest Cargo Bay. Damn it. This is only my first day. Well, it's bad. Hey, That's bad for you. Please. Just need to take out a couple pentejos first. I don't even know if your benefits have kicked in. You need a hand? For these rank and but file chumps? She does. I so. Just hold tight. I'll meet up with you in a sec. Quick damage. Oh, damn. All right, her special ability is cannonball. It's kind of a charged shot. Um, where are the guy? Ooh, it stops blowing up and I'm dying. Here we go. Oh, there's some health. More health. Good, I need that. All right, me uh, stunning glory. So I have, on my back, I have a drone. And that drone will send out uh, stunning bolts and freeze enemies. And... Where are okay, here's guys. We're gonna go ahead and activate that. And and as I'm doing that, the drone is stunning whoever it can. Okay, so I think I've got what I need. Right, over here. I just did. I just walked right in here. We blew up your shit. And up go the goods. Sweet. Phase one done. Now on to phase two. I see a lot of people comparing to this to like um, Saints Row, uh, and games like Saints Row. But if I was going to compare this to something. I would compare it to something like Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, except a third-person shooter version of it. All right, fellas, let's go kill us a bad doctor. Hell yeah! Franchise Force is back in action. Now this is the point in the game where we're gonna get control of all three of them and be able to switch between them. Just give yourself a nickname. Well, he did. Us. So now I can switch between the characters on the fly. And that's why I say it's got like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel. Uh, like I said, other reviewers have compared it to Saints Row or League of Legends or games like that. But to me, this is like a third per person Marvel Ultimate Alliance. You don't have all the characters on screen, but you can switch between them on the fly and, util and utilize their abilities as you need. I'm gonna go with Hardtack. And... Uh oh, am I going the wrong way? Oh, nope, this is the right way, because there are people not dead in here. Uh, okay. And the other reason you might need to uh, switch between them is to heal. While while they are not active, they will heal over time. Uh, hard tech shields are, are almost down. Let's flip over to Hollywood. Oh, I can't shoot him. Ah, damn. Oh, that hurt. Get him out of there. Whoops. Well, that hurt a lot. Okay, um... Okay. There's more guys. Okay. There could be chests around the level. And I don't see any. There might not be. Where do they want me to go? They want me to go this way. Okay. I think I should be able to switch back to. Oh, Hollywood is almost dead. Should have known. 
Dr. Babylon, we meet again. Overcharging the dog. Okay. It's something a child would do. I really need Hollywood to heal up. How much danger you put yourself in. Okay. Oh. Of course you don't. Why are you even here? Can I get up there? Persephone's sending her dogs in to do her dirty work, huh? Eh? Well, you are too oh, late. Oh, where are you? I'm afraid. Why don't you jump down there? Just a few more moments. I need those. And you will not stand a chance against me, the Ministry of Pride. You're talking an awful lot. Uh, I was going to shoot you. In the face? Despite your pathetic counter my Ooh, plan is that does a lot of damage to him. Soon, the uh, what about... Will be the crown oh, damn it. All right. Uh, hopefully he has you enough. Said crown twice, right? I'm ready for you, Mayhem. Come on. Oh, that was a that was dumb. Um, there's also a melee you can attack them with. Uh, so I can do that. Um, Do not fret, though, Agent. Damn it. I have a final present for you. And Persephone. Is it your face for me to shoot it? Here we go. Ooh, that did Just some damage. You Let's... Oh, damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Once again, Mayhem, you show no thought, no consideration. You're only brutes with bullets. Uh-huh. I'm okay with that. Isn't that right? What is it they say? When all you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Yes, yes, that's Farewell. true. It's a true statement. Mayhem. And to you, my sweet pet, have fun in your new home. Uh, I'm not done killing you. Uh, okay. Get the hell out of here. Oop, didn't want to do that. Oh, oh, I want to be up here. Mayhem floor. Okay, that'll charge my mayhem meter. So now I could use the my mayhem I ability if I needed to. Was a point thing dynamo, right? A zero point dynamo. And yeah, it was. was. If it gets out into the city, it is bad news. This whole place is gonna blow. It is, yes. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, we gotta get the F -U -C -K out of here. That's what I just said. No way I'm gonna catch that dynamo moving this slow. Fortune, see what you can do. On it. Oh yeah, much better. Because of Hollywood's fucker. Get in here, pretty boy. Wait, what? Why me? Because you poked the bear, that's why. Poked the bear. I poked the bear. Hey there, boss. <laughs> why? Oh, that's cute. Nailed it. Oh, you did. You 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 did. And that's the uh, first mission. The second mission is going to pick up right where we left off. All right, I got a new gadget, and these are equipable. You basically get a gadget for each of them after the first mission. Yep, yep, that's all great. All fantastic things happening here. All right, so... Yay, loading screens, okay. AOM, episode one. Welcome to Seoul. Know. It's just, I think he sees me more like a sister than a woman, you know? What's your opinion on intra-agency romance, Friday? Me? Why, what did you hear? Oh, things. Oh, I heard goodness. things. Hold on. What's this? Have That's an alert. What's up? Dunno. I'm picking up a Said massive right. dark matter energy signature. Uh, Friday, you there? Yes. Hello? Agent, what's going on? 
Yeah, so <laughs> you don't think getting Babylon is gonna be as easy as we thought? Okay. Yay! Hey, hey there. Welcome to Seoul. Hey, thank you for welcoming me. Wait, what happened in that lair? We found D-Babs, but he unleashed one of his glowing orb things uh, into Seoul. Want this. From what I'm seeing, that dynamo is channeling enough energy to level the city. I do not care about the dynamo or soul. I care about Dr. Babylon being dead. Persephone, babe, don't worry. Friday and I will have this sure she loves being Duda. called babe you better agent you better and it just moved it moved huh yeah curious that's your fault though <laughs> hey there it is it's over there ah. I'm in the area Friday I'm gonna shoot it oh we're not oh, we're gonna shoot it Oh, damn it. Watch out when they jump. Okay. I can do this. Yeah, now you're dead. Oh, there's more. I want to come here. Where oh, where'd you go? Oh, damn. I'm afraid. I'm afraid they jumped. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. Okay. Okay, come on, heart attack. Where are they? Oh, I blew up a gas station. Okay. Eat that. Go get the orb. Did, did it just move again? It did, well, yes. Yes, it did, Friday. Yes, it did. It must be leading you somewhere. It is. But why? Probably. What I don't know. Looking for? That's your job. Why do I have to do everybody's oh, job? It covered quite a bit of distance there. It did. If you'd rather drive, I'm sure there are plenty of civilian vehicles around. You say this here. now. I just passed one. Hey, I need this. I, I need this. Give me this. <laughs> hey, where am I going? I don't know. Oh, I'm going this way. Ooh, dance music. Yeah. Um, oh, the circle goes this way. Around. Mm, mm, mm. And oh, I'm here. I'm ram the ball. Ram it. Oh, whoops, whoops. Sorry, you're fine. Come on. You're not fine now. Yeah, take it. Reload. Oh, there's more. Let's, um, switch up to her. Fortune. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay. I need the money. I work hard for that money. There we go. I've always wanted to blow up one of those things. Okay. Babylon uh, sure does love his golems, doesn't that. he, Lloyd? Oh, you know, he's gonna... To call this a golem, but... That's not doing much... Oh, it's doing some. Oh, she... Oh, she's got... There we go. Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood, I need help. Do damage, Hollywood. There you go. Bartak, lampoon him. Make lampoon go. Oh wow, you're just taking. Oh, did that oh god, get away. Uh, there's a. If I hit control, he'll do a slide or a dodge or something. Uh, let's go back over to her. Oh, you're whittling. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, come on, keep doing it. Oh. Ooh, damn. That's right. Oh, it's gonna explode. Oh, get away. Are you done playing with Babylon's toy? 
Yeah, I broke it. Good. Now That's why I, people don't share toys so with me. So we can plan our next move. <clears throat> I'll see you back at the Ark, Agent. Sure. And the Ark is our main hub in this game, and it's in the sky. And those are our first three agents. Nugejit. Alright, unlock some more stuff for him. Captain's orders. Uh, so weapon modification. And star power amplifier. That's what he needs, his star power amplified. Ooh, and an upgrade core. Those will come into play later. The zero point Story's happening. ...was too unstable for my work. Where is my crystal? The process cannot be rushed. Your time is nearly up. Do not squander this final opportunity. Yes, Morningstar. I have a plan. Behold, the Sermac Comet. The crystal encased in its shell has a dark matter resonance more okay. than sufficient for the Morning Star's plans. And I have precisely the tool for the job. The Hammersmith Graviton Induction Resonator. That's not complicated to say. Hammersmith, I must have that comet. Uh-huh. Okay. He needs it. Oh, I'm still down here? All right. Well, since it seems we're going to be in Seoul for a bit, let's get our bearings. Can you get to higher ground, Agent? Uh, yes, I can. Here we go. And go. This is the Tomorrow Tech Expo main pavilion. Have a look around while I find us a suitable spot to call down a warp generator. Okay. Okay. Sometimes there's chests. Put one down here. The hiding? <gasps> it is. Okay, so now, one thing I didn't know when I uh, played this game the first few hours, uh, these chests, if you don't have the agents unlocked yet, stuff for the agents that are not unlocked will not appear in these chests, so I was afraid to open them until I had all the agents. However, through some research, I found out these chests just constantly respawn, so if you see chests, just open them. Open them, grab what's in them, don't worry about it. Uh, yes, stuff initially won't appear for agents you don't have, but it doesn't matter. They infinitely respawn. The red spike crystal shard things, they do not respawn, but you only need so many of those. So, oh, I'm going over to this thing. Looking for a way to move heavy loads with ease? Then the yes. Gravity reduction platform booth should be your next stop here at the TTX. Fantastic. Oh, good. The one and done claims to cook any food in one minute or less. Oh, wow. good. I was worried. Oh. oh, you're not saying anything. And, oh, real quick, while we're here, I think missions will show up. So if I go here, go to, uh, or city map. Oh, no, not city. All right. Oh, okay. We can't see them yet. There are typically missions and side things all dotted across the map when you get further into the game. Now, those will keep reappearing. So this is not a game where you can come down here, clear everything on the map. I thought that initially and didn't know that they just kept coming back and I didn't understand what was going on. But once again, when I started looking up uh, other videos on how this game basically plays, how it works, I found out that those uh, activities or, or what have you, they will just keep respawning. And they are they, they will be a continual source of XP and items and things like that. So you don't need to try to clear the map. You will get a task list, and you can clear your task list. And the task list will be something like, um, you know, take down three enemy agent locations or things like that. You can knock off those tasks, but you will not clear um, the... Well, you will initially clear 
the uh, map marker. It will come back, though, every time you go up to the arc and then come back down. It kind of refreshes uh, those. So, initially, you could go to the map, clear all the map markers, go up to the arc, arc and then come back down, and then you'll end up with all the markers back. So, you could kind of clear the map, but uh, you'd have to do it every time you go up and come back down. Oh, I see a thing. Soul certainly means it when Ooh. they say building the city of tomorrow, yeah? They do. We figured I'd just, I'd share some stuff that uh, I learned on the when I played it for uh, the first few hours. Okay, um, oh, whoops. Why didn't you tell me I was going the wrong way? So, we're going to go over here. And if there's any other cool stuff or interesting stuff, uh, I'll mention it as I think of it. Head there and set the beacon for a warp point, yeah? Okay, I will. I'll do that. I'll do that for you. Oh, you don't take fall damage. Do the superhero landing. So, Persephone sounded happy. Yeah, happy as a shark sniffing blood. You guys aren't going to sell me out, are you? What's this? Reality TV star Rod Stone is accepting blame for his fuck-up? Look, we all made mistakes in that lair. Yeah, sure. Of course, some of us made bigger mistakes than others. <laughs> um, I switched to her because she can move around a little bit quicker. She's got like a kind of a dash. A... Whoops, that's not the right button. Let's head back. Beers are on you, Hollywood. Come see me as soon as you get in, Agent. All right. All right. Call down the warp generator and let's get you home. Okay. And teleportation capability is online in Seoul. Come on back to the Ark, Agent. Okay. And to get back to the Ark, you come up here and you just hit Ark and it brings you up if there. If you haven't watched the classic cartoon Sailor and Bear, <laughs> man, you are missing out. You need to get this shit on DVD. <laughs> And it has the little, like, G.I. Joe interludes. Um. Well, well. Welcome back to the Ark. Have fun in Babylon's lair? Sure. Oh, I did. Let's go with that. Persephone and I are still coordinating our plan. In the meantime, Claymore requested a word with you. So, I'm not going to say this is the greatest game ever, because it's not. But I've played, like I said, several hours, and I've had a lot of fun with it. And if you go into this thinking... Uh, campy Saturday morning morning cartoon kind of game with some great um, gun gun gameplay, a uh, great thir third person shooter gameplay. Um, I think you can have a lot of fun with this. And I was just surprised that when you go online and look up uh, reviews on this game, they're not very favorable. A lot of them aren't favorable. Uh, and I don't understand if a game is good and you're having fun with it why would it not review well and some of the things i'm seeing is they say it gets repetitive maybe it does and and the story is not that great but what would you expect from something like this in all honesty i just need a story and it's in a game like this i just need a story to get me from a to b for it to be serviceable and the story's fine it's fine oh welcome to the armory there Hey, I heard about what happened in Babylon's lair. Oh. No way. Hollywood's fault. Persephone will cool off. Besides, with me fitting your kits, he won't stand a chance oh, next good. time you find him. That reminds me, Gremlin was asking about you. Swing by the R&D lab when you've a chance. All right, I'll go. All right, so here's where we'll modify agents. Um, he's going to explain that to us. We'll just go ahead. I have read that before. You come in here. You have gadgets, upgrades, cores. Now, that core that I got, when you come into an agent, if you slot in a core, you unlock one of their major abilities. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's what the cores are for. And the crystal shards that are dotted around the map, 10 of those will create a new core. So, but I will go into the gadgets. Here's the gadgets. So, the first one is her cannonball thing. So, oh, it's the only thing I have. Here, it looks like I've got a weapon gadget. Uh, I can do captain's orders. 
Killing enemies prompts Glory to send out Stun Blast more frequently. I like the uh, critical damage, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. And then passive gadgets, I only have cut and run, so I'll throw that on. Upgrades, I'm going to give her, you have four upgrades you can choose from. I get two, I have two points. I think you get roughly two points per level. Um, what do I want? There's a little description here, but that's what it does right down there. So if you want to assign stuff quickly, just look down there. Uh, shield reboot, reboot for survivability, and we'll do an overheat uh, reduction. All right, so I'm good there. You, oh, that's if so. If you want to see an agent's abilities, you can go there, and you can click on the various things, and it'll tell you uh, what that agent is capable of. You end up getting some really cool agents as you play. Um, like I said, there's about 14 or 15 of them, and they all play differently. They have different abilities. Um, all right, bonus. Okay, so there's her weapon. Fortune inflicts bonus damage on stun targets. Her special is the cannonball thing. Um, then her, her... Where's her mayhem ability? Oh, right here. Uh, glory. That's when she deploy, deploys the drone. Um, the drone is glory, so it's fortune and glory. But for now, let's go in here. I'm trying to go quick because, uh, like I said, this is going to be first hour. I want to cover as much as I can to give you an idea of, of as much as I want to give you. I want to show you as much of the gameplay as I can, basically. Also, this video really won't be edited, so you're going to see all my stammering and that should be fun. All right, so here we go. There's this harpoon. Looks like I have I could do uh, his armor gadget. I could do pair. Or weapon gadget, I can do periscopic barrel. It'll increase his range, reduce damage. What's this? This will give him three more rounds. Let's let's go with that to give him a little more range. So I can shoot them from a little farther out. I'm willing to sacrifice. Uh, upgrades. Yes. He is a tank. I want to keep him alive. So there, we'll give him a bonus to regen. And he'll also take more healing from healing items. Okay, now let's go over to Hollywood. Gadgets, what has he got? Okay, he has an augment to his... Uh, uh, what is this? To his uh, uh, special ability. That's what I meant. Yeah. So, Hollywood, uh, that's the standard. What's this one do? Fires a grenade that explodes for a amount of damage and also blinds and slows targets. I like the high damage, so I'm going to stay with that. Down here, we have a passive uh, thing we can equip. I only have the one, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it inflicts enfeebles and vulnerable on enemies when I dash past them. Upgrades. Oh, he's... Now, he has a squad bonus. They, every agent has a squad bonus. His is plus 5% to mayhem. Which, you know, when you activate your mayhem ability. I'm going to take that... And I'm going to take, uh, wonder if they stack. I don't know if they stack, but I'm going to take that and I'm going to take 5% for his as well. Um, ooh, the ability refresh is good. You know, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Whenever you come in, uh, you can always reassign points. So here, look, I'll get out of this real quick. I'll go back in, All right? I can always come over. I can go into his upgrades. I could reset the points taken back and you could reallocate them. So when you spend points, you don't have to stress about out about it. If you don't like what you did, come back, undo it. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We're good here. He said Gremlin wants to see us. This is Gremlin. Ooh, 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 chest. Hey, there you are. Oh, I can't open it. Oh, I just got the fabricator up and running again, so Gremlin's R&D shack is raring to go. Once Good. I have the materials I need, that is. Oh, I guess I gotta get materials. Okay, so that gave me some stuff. Okay, now I can build the gutter ball. Alright, this is gonna tell us about Gremlin. Just gonna go ahead. Alright, so we're gonna build some Gremlin tech. Now, gutter ball is almost like a single use. I mean, I say single use, but you might get six of them. 
uh, ability. When you hit, I think, Z, it will activate your gremlin tech. And whenever you want more gremlin tech, you have to make it. So right now I'm making gutter ball uh, quantities of three. So it'll get, I'll build it. It'll give me three of them. Hit continue. And gremlin tech is usable on any of the agents, no matter who you are. You just have to pick which one you want to equip. So I only have this one right now, but if I had both of these, I would pick which one I want to equip, go down into the mission. But no matter what agent I'm playing as, I have access to that gremlin tech. Uh, I can't do that right now. Okay, so now that's the done. Flippy <laughs> oh, the flippy floppy. I like the flippy floppy. Um, wants a word with you. Of course he does. Best head over to her office, then. I'm gonna make Hollywood talk to her. She can't fire me. She can, maybe. I think. I don't know. I'm gonna make you talk to her. Agent. You did it. Hey! Well, it seems you're complete and utter failure to assassinate Dr. Babylon. You shut your mouth. Did some positives. Yes! Oh, I good. Mean, yeah, I knew that. Intelligence suggests Babylon intended soul to be more than just a brief pit stop. Good. We need to find out what the doctor's designs are. Dr. Jewel! Details. Go see her. Now go back to work before I have Carol in HR. Oh, don't bring Carol into this. I'm gone. I'm gone. Don't worry. Don't need Carol. D don't need Carol. Oh, okay. So I'm going here. That's Friday. The horse's name was Friday. Um, right. So here you can look at your agency stats if you want. Agency level, stuff like that. Here's all the agents that you can unlock. Um, we have three of them. You could also look at your progress and say in in Seoul, you know the various things you've done and whatnot. But we're here for missions. Now, you see this Operation Raging Arrow. Whenever you see a special investigation, that's going to give you access to another agent. The way I would attack the missions is the in this game is. Always hit those first immediately when you get them, then go do your story missions or your side quests or whatever it is you want to do, your side content, your task list. But always hit the uh, special investigations or the agent operations first, then hit your story side quests, keep going. But those should always be done first. So we have that here. I think I also had access to a contract and something else. Agent difficulty. Now, you can change this on the fly, and there are rewards for upping your difficulty. You'll get more XP, more cash, things like that. I've actually found it fun to play with this in a whole in the risk reward system. I think I can do. There's, I think, 15 levels. Uh, yeah, 15 levels of difficulty. Uh, the, so the normal is agent. I think I've had a lot of fun with uh, it's either detail dealer or super agent because i'm recording this let, let's go super agent okay so then we're gonna go back i don't this is the only squad choice i have i can oh you can edit the squad and some of the unlocks you get are for skins so for hollywood if i go select skin here's what i have access to and one of the first skins you unlock is the man of iron I wonder, I wonder what that is. So, I like that skin. I'm going to keep it. Uh, uh, you can unlock various other skins for each of them. Uh, his standard issue rifle. Yeah, let's give him the red gun, I guess. And I'll go over to Fortune. Uh, oh, no, I want to select skin. Sorry. She has a cool one you unlock called Galaxy Guardian. I'm going to take that. And I like the steampunk pistols. I'm gonna equip that. And then hard, hard tack, he he does not get good stuff. He gets um like like oh boy, that's exciting. Yay, he's in a unit. Woo. Oh like he he got the raw end of, of this uh of this deal here. Um yeah, I, I'm just going to leave him in what he has, but his, his he's got a skin, I think, the, that's not bad. The Admiral. Yeah, I'll just, whatever. 
change up his gun. So now, selected my team, we're backing out. Uh, we are going to deploy. And then, goes into a little cutscene as you get out of the arc. A little bit of, you know, banter. Hey, hey, people, let's do this. But right now, the mission we're going to go do is to get us Rama, who is a, another agent. And even if this goes over the hour mark, I do want to show you how you unlock an agent, what that looks like, the how it takes on kind of like a cartoon episode Finally, feeling. Some fresh air. Here, we'll go Raging Arrow. So now we're going to have some stuff to do. And well, if we're going to find out what Babylon and his Ministry of Pride are up to, we should start at the obvious source and beat up some Legion troopers, yeah, Friday? I agree. I doubt some lowly grunt is going to know Babylon's master plans. Well, Legion uses drop pods to deploy troops rapidly. Get close to the launcher so I can determine where its command signal okay. comes from. That should tell us where to look next. So, no interrogation scenes? And here I was going to put on my bad cop persona. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm glad we ain't captured nobody. All right, I don't know if I have access to it yet, but if you hit X, it summons a vehicle. And as long as you're in this purple circle, they ruined it. They ruined it. As long as you're in the purple circle and weird stuff doesn't happen, they get into the car in a really cool way. Watch, here we go. Really, again? <laughs> and each agent will enter the vehicle differently. Um, Where are we going? Let's see what this baby can do. I oh. The area for repair. Yeah, and your car is basically kit. Like, everything about this is cartoon. Or, or 80s nostalgic. And that's maybe why I like this game, because I'm old. I suppose I'll just stay here then. Yeah, just, just wait. I'll be back. I love you. Um... Oh, no, I don't need that. He's fine. He can keep it. Ooh, what is that? And now I'm going to... Oh, yeah, uh, that, that did not do what I wanted it to do. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, oh, damn. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, damn. He's almost... He's hurting bad. Oh, oh, because I'm on... Uh, sh oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't think this through. I'm on super agent. Okay, so here. Oh yeah, they're getting hurt bad. Bring him to me. Okay. So I really have to um watch my agent health and switch between them as needed because they'll they'll go down quick. You have to be very mobile. And some people have said this has kind of an Overwatch kind of feel, and it's probably why initially I thought this was a multiplayer game. It is not. There is no multiplayer in this at all. Um, uh, yeah, do this. Okay. But the okay, let's switch it up. Come on, Hollywood. Here we go. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. He goes down quick. Okay, he's... I need to switch. Oh, go. Oh, oh, wow. They're not healing quick enough. Uh, I'm going to have to use hard tack. He's the tank. Okay, so... Okay, is it quiet enough? I need to hack this. Oh god, heal, heal! Well, don't heal, but... Okay, they'll keep warping in. I need to do this quick. Oh, shit! She's dead. She's dead. I need now, to get her back, I need one of those. I'm just clicking the mouse button to do that. Okay, there we go. Sabotage the launcher if you fire at its weak points. 
So now, if I can fire at these weak points, it will actually take the point over and all the enemies will go away. The location of Legion's outpost into your sin. Oh, man. Oh, dear. It seems when Legion controls an area, they put numerous diabolical machines all over. Yeah, they did. Drop pod launchers, ice barrage weapons, and other terrible things. So how do we stop Legion from deploying those mm. evil things? Hopefully by taking over the outpost. There's an oh, that's gonna be platform rough. on the ground. Hack the console there and use the platform to reach the roof. No problem. I always make it to the top. Okay, so that may have looked difficult-ish. Uh, one, I suck at this, but two, you don't have to play at this level. If you play it on the normal level, it's not that bad. Um, I am down an agent, so this is gonna be rough. What might you be? Uh, that's a crystal shard. But right now, I'm going to the next objective. Um uh, Okay, so here we are. I have to act like this. Once again, just clicking in the yellow or even the orange. You'll get more XP if it's a uh, perfect hack, which is in the yellow. Let's go to the top. Excellent. Once you this reach the top, is going to be hard. Destroy Legion's equipment, then uh -huh. hack the large antenna so we can access their signal. So we're going to blow up some of their stuff. And uh, got to got to stay mobile. Switch over to hard tack. Our attack is meant to stay alive. Shoot him! You could have reloaded when I wasn't playing as you. Oh, get out of that! Damn it! Come on. So they just want us to blow up random equipment. It can be anything, and then eventually it will let us. Oh, shh, get out of there. Uh, where's the harpoon? Get out of there. Oh, damn. Oh, wow, he's hurt. Shh. Oh, man, he's not going to stay alive that long. Oh, his mayhem's ready. Yeah, do it. Do it. Okay. Yeah, let the explosions do the work. And there, I just took it over. That should clear out all the bad guys. And that's an outpost capture. And now it'll start, because I captured the outpost, it'll start showing you activities and stuff on the map. Wonderful. In the future, you can use a mayhem-controlled outpost to see Legion activity in the area. Ooh, look at all this. Though, be careful attacking other Legion outposts now. My guess is they'll fortify their defenses with each one we take. Yeah, it... Now, basically, you want to level a little before you take on another one. Alright, so Perfect. this... Then the agents can head to the location I just sent them. Kremlin? What are you up to? Well, with it, Legion now weak in this need area, to go back to the Mayhem arc. can grab a few places of our own. No. Like a place I can meet up with the agents, for example. That sounds like good information, Gremlin. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Hardtack. When you get there, just set up some signal blockers outside the building so Legion can't find us. Okay. Hmm. This information we downloaded doesn't make sense. It looks like Babylon's takeout order from Scooter's genuine all-American charbecue. And now I'm hungry. Friday, let me see that order. Oh, Miss Brimstone. I didn't know you were listening in. Of course, here you are. Oh, hey, if you're placing an order, I'll take a jumbo rack of ribs and... This is not an order for takeout, agent. This is an old Legion code. Friday, come to my office. I'll show you how to decrypt the data. Yes, Persephone. 
I might want to go back Friday, to the Ark to and send resurrect the list of agents. Send up the signal um, and get fortune. them to Seoul. Now, we will start with Agent Rama. Um, of course. I can do that. So, uh, no barbecue then? Damn. Ooh, I'm so powerful. Yeah, you are. You're a sexy boy. Upgrade point. Oh, okay, yeah. And if you hit E, they get out in a kind of a little neat way. All right, so... Uh, okay, I don't think this part is hard. Uh, air conditioner's in the way. Oh, can I land on the air conditioner? Nope. Gotta get up there. How do I get up there? Oh. Oh, I want this, thank you. Yoink. Oh, 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 oh. And these. Nice swag. I'm not 100% sure if um, I'm getting any XP for the character that's dead. However, getting XP is not too big of a deal because you can always get more. Uh, these are like bomb things. So you come over here, you hit E. That basically puts a protective bubble on him so I can make this blow up. And then they bounce away. Hi. Have fun. Have fun. Uh, where was the thing? Over there. Yep. Can I get to it? I can. What might you be? Crystal shard. Damn it. All right. I'm not going to grab those, uh, because there's a bunch of them. If I were to grab them, you know, we'd be here a lot longer than an hour. And as of right now, it's 57 minutes. So what we'll do is I'll take on the Rama mission and we will end it there. Oh, this is the gremlin thing. Oh, so, there. So where? Where? Oh, am I just? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I have to activate these things, which shouldn't be too hard. There shouldn't be a ton of enemies. Okay, we'll grab this. Huzzah! Okay, where's the the other ones? Are over here. Okay. Close down. That one's kind of on the way, so grab it. Yoink. Yoink. Uh oh, is it up here? Oh. Oh no, it was right there. Oh, and I see a thing. Go ahead, we'll put this down. What do we have here? That is a crystal shark. And... Come on. <gasps> jump. And jump. Right there. That's the last one. Ooh, I'll be waiting inside there. to say howdy in person. A grab. See oh, you have a scan. And, uh, yeah. If you hit E, it scans. Is there anything up there? Oh, yeah. We'll just go do the gremlin thing. This way. Run. Right, right, and uh, in there. I want to get fortune back. Hi there. Got Hi. some stuff for you. Oh, good. Is it my dead agent? Because I could use her. Okay. Now that we have a gremlin location, I believe every so often she'll have a piece of gremlin tech to give you. At least I think. 
It seems we obtained a good lead, actually, which Agent Rama will be following up on. Oh, good. Don't worry, agents. We'll figure out why Babylon's here and how to stop him. In you know, due time. You know who won't be following up on it? Fortune, because she's dead. Oh, oh, okay, so she does get XP, even though she's dead, it looks like. Okay. I guess the game's just harder to play with, you know, three agents, okay? Yep. I got I got goodies and treats and money. For this guy. Right, I am gonna go back to the arc real quick. I wonder if I can do that from here. Yeah, it says it's gonna lose your progress, but it I'm not really gonna lose anything. It's just I don't worry about making my vehicle street legal. He's the guy that I mean, builds like the, the cars we drive. Traffic laws, so what does it matter? <laughs> and every time you go back up, you get one of those. Alright, so... Uh, the reason I came back here was so that I could... Okay, now, sh now fortune is revived. Um, the reason I came back... Why did I come back here? I don't remember. I know it was to revive her, but I thought there was another reason. Something I wanted to show you. Um, the rec room is over there. There's challenges you can you can do that will get you items and stuff. Uh, down there, that's the armory. There's gremlin. I think that's requisition. Oh, okay, this. I don't know if I have access to it yet. But if you hit E, this is where you can buy... Uh, yeah, it's offline. But you can buy upgrades for the agency. And the the upgrades will apply to all of your agents. And some of them are pretty good. I don't, I don't even think it'll let us look at them, though. But you have the requisitions... You have the requisitions officer over here. You'll come here to buy your, your agency-wide upgrades. Uh, for now... Uh, oh, it wants us to go talk to him. Not gonna, because I don't want to do, uh, uh, what you call it, a, one of his things. Uh, oh, it's gonna make me. Damn it. Let's go here. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, he's gonna oh, tell man, us. You won't believe this. Relic knew a guy who knew a guy, and he hooked uh -huh. me up with some of the hottest VR enhancements. The rec mm -hmm. room has all kinds of new shit. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Swing by whenever. Huh? Peace. So here, know the basics. You basically go in. And they're on set difficulty. So even though I upped the difficulty to super agent, this is going to be operative level. And, you know, I'll, I'll jump into one real quick. And we'll show you. And it's, it's basically just, that's all I have. So we'll deploy them. Um, it's basically just a shooting gallery, kind of. Sometimes they have little bosses that'll appear. Uh, and in each mission, uh, will the difficulties can vary. This shouldn't be too hard because it's on beginner. But I'm just waiting for them to spawn. And you can try out your, your teams in here or your agents and practice with them. It's one of the good things it's good for. Okay. And right now I have low level agents, so they're not going to be very, very good. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, shucks. They shot him. Okay. His mayhem ability is ready, but I want hers. Okay. Okay. And she does a little better damaging them because that's her thing. She is a damage dealer. Oh, shit. Here we go. And. Oh, I thought that was it, but it's not. Can I do this? 
Okay, that's cool. Okay, there should be... Okay, he's a boss. Or he's the boss we have to take down. Kind of. Alright, so we're gonna go to him. We're gonna do... Upline this. Where's hard tack? And there it's done. And we'll get stuff from doing this. Program complete. And we'll hit continue. And we get money. And two crystal shards. Once again, this is one of the intro level missions, so. Or, you know, intro level challenges. So we'll come back here. I did that. Now we can go back. He's been quiet. Over to here. I should be able to get down there. Yep. One of the other things we haven't gotten to it yet, but uh, global conflict. When we unlock this, we're going to end up with more than three agents. You can have three agents in a squad. Your spare agents can be sent on side missions to get you things. And that's what this glo global conflict is. But we won't get that until uh, agency level eight. But for now, we're going to go back down. Uh, oh, real quick. Here, you can see we've got some contracts. Contracts are kind of like little challenges like kill 50 blitz troopers and if i do that i'll get that um legion occupation let's take over a drop pod launcher or, you know hate machine uh you know these are the various activities that are going to show up on the map and things you can do so this is more of a task list kind of thing and you can go do these get xp um this is just i believe a uh, I don't know what this is. It's a war point. I don't know if we can select that without selecting a mission and it'll just put us down there generically or if it's to take over a war point because all it, all it says is explore soul. But we want to do this. We want to unlock our next agent. And yep, that's the only squad I have right now. I'm going to pump this down to uh, detail leader. And... Go ahead and deploy. All right, folks, we're heading out. Follow me. Should we get going? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why we're in the tunnel. Okay. So, wait for this to load. There we go. To your positions, people. All right. So, this is going to be the mission to unlock Rama. And you'll get to see what I, I mean when um, it takes kind of a cartoon episode, kind of. Special episode featuring Rama. And... In this mission, you will play as her exclusively. A hunter, tracking the sources of disease. Then a man-made plague hit Mumbai, spreading like wildfire across the subcontinent. Somehow, the madman of Legion infused virus with the unholy power of dark matter. So I stole their medical technology, but there was just too little of it, and I had a nation to heal. And. This is going to give her background. Help me capture all the Legion medicine I need. I do explain how they ended up in mayhem. But I will risk anything to avenge my country and cure my people. And she's actually pretty sick. Quite literally. Okay, Mama, so Are you there? Of course, Friday. What do you need of me? First, call your car. I enjoy a nice luxury sedan, but with quarter mile, who knows? You might get stuck with a pickup truck. I've updated okay. your sin with a location. Head there. I'll give details on the way. Ah, I see the AR beacon now. So, what is going on? We have reason to believe that Legion's Ministry of Pride is far more embedded in Seoul than we initially suspected. Oh? How so? Well, that's exactly what we need you to find out. We know Babylon is in town, but who else? And why are they here? 
I need you to crack into some access points we have identified and feed me some data. Okay. I can do that. But tell me something, Friday. Why did you here. pick me? Oops. Okay. Oh, it's just okay. And every agent it tells you, you know, what their main ability is, and then it'll tell you about their special ability, it, then their mayhem ability. She said you were the only one for the job. And where is our illustrious leader currently? Like she can do some high damage. <laughs> Just establish a connection to your sin, hack through the security protocol, and I'll handle the rest. Ooh, the other thing she can do is um, this. Oh, if I can hit the right button. She can go invisible for a short period of time. And that's helpful if you're getting ganged and Send you need to get code. out. Uh-oh, Rama. I yeah. see Legion forces headed to yeah, your I area. see them. I see them, Friday. You'll need to stay close to the access point. Stray too far, and your comm signal becomes too weak to carry the data. Okay, where are they? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's do this. Something. I'm gonna grab all the stuff they drop after the fact. Okay, we'll do that so they can't find us for a second. Get him. Okay, where are we going? Damn it, I'm not that good at this. Oh shit! Okay. I've updated your location with another access point. While so now, we head there, I'll work on decrypting this. I'm gonna go grab all Not the money and stuff that dropped. Of course. I have been an agent for While some time now. Talks. I was, after all, one of the first to join. And your service has been exemplary. But I did not join Mayhem to hunt down Persephone's old friends. I am here to save the people of Mumbai. I see what you're getting at, Rama, but our current objective is finding Dr. Babylon in Seoul. But the plague is in Mumbai. I understand. I can talk to Persephone. <sighs> Thank you, but I am perfectly capable of speaking to her myself. Of course. As you wish. Okay. Uh, I think I got most of the stuff. Now let's go to the next point. Where are we going? In the AI community, we call something like this balls out. Okay. Have fun out there. All right, so now we're coming over here. And I think when some of the reviewers said it was repetitive. They said it was because the gameplay was repetitive. You go here, you kill that, go here, kill that, and all the missions are, I guess... It appears this time the surveillance device is a That church. type of... At least they're utilizing the natural environment, yeah? Oh, it's a tree. And, you know, that's... Uh, so you go here, you shoot this, you go here to unlock that. And they said it, it feels repetitive in that sense. Um, I've... Like I said, I played several hours. I it didn't feel too repetitive to me, but it, once again, it is a third-person shooter, so I, I don't. Oh, whoops! So I would expect that if I'm going to be doing stuff, it's going to be going from place to place, uh -oh. shooting things. Let me but, guess. More legion interference. Exactly. You know what to do. And what makes the interactions different at these is the agents you're using. Okay. Uh oh. That's, um, yeah. Oh, a swarm. Okay. Okay. Now, her ability, if I do that, she's now a trap, and boom. So. 
I can... If I can come over here and then have them charge me through that trap, it will... Oh, but I gotta be close enough to this thing for it to, uh... Okay. But, so she plays a lot different. So what do we got? Where are they? Oh, they're behind me. Done now. Okay. Perfect. I have everything. Give me a moment to look this over. Oh, and I'll send you the location of the next access point. While you okay. do that, be a dear and put Persephone on the line. Put oh. Persephone on. Well, I'll see if she's busy. She is not too busy Friday. Not for me. I'll, um, let her know. Okay. Rama, you summoned me. Oh, it was there a... as though you have forgotten our deal, Persephone. Our deal? I have always been direct with you. I joined Mayhem only so I might find the cause of the plague ravaging my homeland. And in the years since, I have gone on numerous missions for your causes. But you? You have not held up your end of the bargain. Is that right? It is. And I would appreciate if you did not act so coy about this. Well, it's then, talking Rama, about the drift. I apologize if I seem coy, but I've been doing my best. It's not as though Legion publishes its information on some blog. It is a good thing that we are not reliant on the internet for all our information then. Right now, Rama, I need you to do this. I am Ooh, after all ooh whoops. Signs your checks. Yes, yes, you are. Whoopsie. We are not done talking about this. You are correct, Rama. We are not. Oh, oh. See, that's a side thing. Like, to kill them, you get XP. You could just use your special ability. Let's see. So, that's all I wanted to... I saw that and figured I'd jump and grab it. Yes. I'm so powerful. Yeah, you are. Well. Oops. Whoops. Uh, I hope so. Okay. Here. Oh, we gotta protect this thing, I think. I'm not gonna lie. You and Persephone? That was sort of awkward to listen to. I am making a reminder that you are an eavesdropper. Friday, what am I looking at? Oh, it's a spicy stir-fried rice cake. Oh, Quite good. delish and good. very popular in Korea. And you want me to stick my fingers in there to find your device? Um, yes? That was... Disgusting. But your sacrificing comfort will pay massive dividends, I promise. Oh, and Rama? Legion troops, I know. Yep. So now... Okay, so her mayhem ability... Can wipe out groups. So, I want to get them all... Mayhem! Mayhem! You did! This hurts me more than it hurts you. Come on, come on, through here, yep. Yep, come on. I probably could have shot more of those arrows. But... Ooh, I meant up. Okay, there we go. Oh, and you don't have to hit enemies with their special ability. They're traps. But if you hit an enemy, it will hurt them. Where are we? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Where are we? Oh, wow. That's awkward. Oh. Okay. Oh, I could feel the tension all the way over here. Your boss is an infuriating woman, Friday. You mean our boss? Currently, yes. But perhaps not for long. Oh, I see. 
So, what has all my errand running yielded, Friday? Anything useful? Oh, oh yes, loads. Babylon is in town, which we knew, but he's brought a bunch of his lieutenants along with him. Hammersmith, August Gaunt, Steel Toe. And what are they doing here? Well, that... that's still a bit of a mystery, I'm afraid. I'll be around if you need me. Ooh. It was marked. I don't know what that does, but we're going here. What's up? I want to get up there. Okay. All oh, right. we're what going way up. For, Friday? I don't know. Persephone put in these coordinates, not I. Just send me whatever's there, and I'll see what I can find. So she wants all of it. Uh, okay. I suspect you can sabotage the launcher if you fire at its weak points. Uh, You're picking up Legion, right? <laughs> you know me so well. No, it's Legion who I know. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, that was lucky. Go ahead and do this. Come on. Come on. Alright, um... Where are we going? Oh, damn. This job suits me. Come on. Oh, what the hell just happened there? I brought up the steam screen. Oh, mayhem, mayhem time. You brought this upon yourself. You did. Shame on you. Right. Oh, that's the boss. go. Use that health. Alright. Here we go. So what is this, huh? Babylon's bathroom schedule? The name of his childhood sled? No, it's... Details on the Mumbai plague. Oh, good. I received word that Babylon had moved samples of the plague here to Seoul. I wanted to surprise you with it, but when you got testy... And you got all testicles. Drama, but I always hold up my end of the deal. I see. So, are we good, Rama? Or are you handing in your two-week notice? No, Persephone. We are yeah. good. Excellent. See you back at base. All right, and that... I didn't cover everything, obviously, but that's Agents of Mayhem. As I've said, and as you probably saw, I have a, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. So if you saw this, it looks like something uh, you'll enjoy. Uh, you can get this uh, on various places, Steam, Green Man Gaming, where, wherever you basically buy video games. I believe it was also released on consoles. Um, so there's that. But uh, Agents of Mayhem, I... I think it's a really good game. I think it's way underrated. So, I'm JoJo Fusion. If you like this, why not go ahead and give me a like down below. If you want to see more videos like this, why not subscribe? But, for now, I'll catch you in the next one.